Hi, this is question two in the playlist on iteration. It's a, a new topic for the new specification GCSEs. So it seems like there's an awful lot of words with this, but actually they are fairly straightforward. So what we're saying here is, is show that when f of x equals zero, the equation can be rearranged to give that. So basically what we're doing is we're trying to make either this value of x or this value of x as being the subject of the formula to give you x equals something. Now hopefully you can see that because this is cubed, then it's actually this x that we're going to make the subject of the formula. Okay, so what we're saying is that when f of x is zero, so in other words, zero equals this, we can write this as zero equals x cubed minus 7x plus two. And then really it's just a case of manipulating this to get x to be the subject. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to minus 2 from both sides. If I minus 2 from this side, it means I get left with x cubed minus 7x. On this side, I get minus 2. Okay, now I'm going to add 7x to both sides. So if I add 7x to both sides, again, I get rid of this one. But this side, I have to add 7x, so I get 7x minus 2 equals x cubed, okay? And then it's really just a case of taking the cube root of that, and that's going to look exactly the same as it is in the question. So if I cube root, it's going to be x equals the cube root of 7x minus 2. And that would answer this particular question. It's fairly straightforward, providing you feel okay with manipulating equations. And then it says, again, lots more words. It says, use the iter iterative formula um, that with x subset 0 equals minus 2 formula. Okay, exactly the same as the first question in this particular playlist. All we're doing is we're saying we're starting with this and then we're going to progressively put our answer into this formula and we're going to get a closer approximation of the what they call the real root. Okay, now at the end of the previous video I gave you an explanation as to why that happens and I will do with this one as well. So what we're saying is that actually x of 0 equals minus 2.4. That's great, no problem. So if you can imagine this is x of 0 plus 1, so this is x of 1 equals, and we're going to put the cube root of 7 times minus 2.4 minus 2. Okay, and if you pop that into your calculator, then you will get minus 2.65 nine zero zero five seven nine now these are definitely calculator questions and you probably would need yeah you would need a scientific calculator for this okay so what we've got to do now is just keep feeding the same formula to get progressively better values of x so we're taking this result and we're going to feed it into x2 and again the cube root of 7 now the easiest thing is to use the answer key on your calculator and in this particular second one it's minus 2.7418731 eight seven three one one and I do suggest that you just keep writing them down okay because what we're looking to do is to get to the point where we're going to get this correct to three decimal places it's an incredibly tedious question okay um, I, I've seen students where they don't write all of these numbers out and that's fine providing you write sort of five or six you'll be absolutely fine but it is just a very very tedious sort of question okay so x to the subset four again cube root answer minus two okay and that's going to give you um, minus 2.77744121 and what we're looking for is the point at which the third decimal place numbers 
start to repeat themselves, okay? So x to the 5, subset 5 is 7 times answer, again, minus 2, and that's going to give you minus uh, 2.7744. Two nine one. I just realised this is incorrect. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that. X to the four is um, going to be seven seven five zero nine seven four eight six. Sorry about that. Two point minus. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so X to the five is going to be that. X to the six is going to be cube root seven. Answer. Minus two, okay, and I think, I hope we're actually getting to the end of this. So two point uh, seven seven eight one five zero zero four eight x seven, okay, cube root seven, answer minus two, okay. So again, hopefully we'll get to the end of the sooner or later. I think we do now, it's minus 2.778. Okay, this is looking very positive here, folks. I'm really pleased about that. So that's gonna be 364303. So hopefully you can see now that what's starting to emerge is the third decimal place is now the same. So if I round both of those, the third decimal place, I'm going to get 778 because that's not going to change because that's below 5. And likewise, that's not going to change because that's below 5. So let's chance it and we'll have a look at number 8, subset 8. Okay, 7, answer, minus 2. Okay, that's going to be minus 2.778. And it's going to be four. Brilliant. Two, nine, zero, six, four. OK, so the answer to this particular question is the value of X equals minus 2.778. Now, what we're getting at here. OK, so that will answer the question. So if you want to stop the video now, that's perfectly fine. And in the next video, there's a lot more detail about what's going on here. But basically, we're saying that with the graph that we're plotting, it actually has a, a root that goes through. It's a, it's a cubic graph and has a root that goes through this point here, which is roughly minus 2.2. 778 and what we've done in our work is we've got closer and closer to this point you'll see what I mean in video 3 on this particular playlist but either way I hope it's been okay for you they are very tedious questions but there's no reason why you can't get good marks on them and they're usually about four or five marks around about seven plus I hope it's been useful please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything have a look at the other videos in the playlist I look forward to seeing you in inside the next video.